Enjoying the sign. Yes, may I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You are such a good boy. I see you sleeping in the sun. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so nice. Yeah, he loves the sun. Oh, chill, isn't he? Thanks. Oh, oh he's yeah, yeah, he <laughs> Thank you so you much. You know, you're, it's nice that you ride a skateboard because so many dogs are afraid of them. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you know, look at all this company you get. Well, it's true, though. It's true, you are a good dog. And I got lucky with you. I need to give you back to you, though. Okay? Here, stand just like back over here. I'm trying to keep you in the... Oh, sorry. Walk it off, buddy, walk it off. No, just kidding. Sit. 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 <laughs> you must sit. Chill, just chill. like the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. 
giờ các bạn nhé Đây là It is hot. It's warm in the sun today. But I try to have this much uh, space in the shade. We're at the SFPCA, San Francisco. Um, what's the PCA for? SF. Uh, I think it says like that. No. SFPCA. <laughs> Uh, ACC, I know, stands for Animal Care and Control, but San Francisco PCA, I'm not really sure, but it has something to do with pets or dogs um, and animals. Uh, Yuma's uh, second appointment is today, so we made it on time. Um, I think it's a follow-up, I'm not really sure. Uh, we didn't have anything wrong or anything any bad news the last time when we came came uh, to uh, his appointment um, uh, so I'm thinking that today's is just to just to make sure that if I found anything because he did have this little lump on the side of his uh, body and I just it wasn't the reason why we came in but the reason why we came in was to get the paperwork so that way he can um, he can be uh, officially a part of um, me, like um, as in um, he needed paperwork so that um, he could pass the eligibility for being my my dog, my animal, and uh, that is necessary for the building of where we are staying at right now. It's good because um, I have I'll have I'll be able to have his paperwork with me. And um, I had it before, I just lost it all to um, being homeless, you know, it was, it was, it was really bad. Um, I had everything, all, all just like in a folder, in, in his stuff, I had pictures of him, my, pic my pictures that I used to have. And, you know, being homeless, uh, you don't really have a secure place to um, keep your files and stuff. And I used to carry them around with me in my backpack. And, one day we went to sleep and I woke up and we both woke up and uh, there was no more laptop and there was no more um, backpack with my my pictures and my papers in there. I even had my certificate of Indian blood, which is which is uh, was so necessary this last um, Christmas. This last Christmas, the Navajo Nation was giving um, $1,500 away to all registered, um, well not registered, I'm not sure, to all um, Navos who have census numbers. That piece of paper was a part of my files in that folder when I returned to San Francisco and um, it was just as old as I was, I, I am now, so I mean it was, it traveled with me um, and my mom, my mom ha had kept it for such a long time, for all these years and then just one night when I fell asleep, being exhausted and everything, Yuma and me just stuffed ourselves into a um, uh, sleeping bag. I had it underneath my pillow, underneath my head, and uh, I thought that I could just wake up and, and feel it. But um, I didn't, I slept, slept, strangely, I slept really deeply that night. I mean, like, it's really weird. Um, how I'm a light sleeper naturally, but that night it was it was quite um, sleeping in public and sleeping uh, where we normally sleep, and it was, it's just so weird how that happened that night specifically. I'm not saying it was um, any kind of susp suspicious activity or anything like that. I'm just saying that it was strange how I just really slept that great that night or that night, and then. Um, other nights I was just always awake and scared that somebody was gonna, you know, come and um, bother us or something. I was always on watch. And there's, a <laughs> anyways, moving on from that, we're, um, we're doing good. Uh, I forgot to say hello. I'm Idea. Well, I say I call him. I just to clarify on that. That Idea is just a, a name that um, some local Indians. Uh, there you go. We may we we just used it as a um, 
a nickname or a name from because uh, when I was in South Dakota um, I kind of went to school up there and I kind of was with um, Native, Native Americans who were Lakota and um, when I came down here there were Lakotas here and then they, me and my auntie uh, she's, uh, she's like my adoptive auntie she's Lakota too so she said you know I think it's cool if you get named so uh, that's why Idea is um it actually is Wichapi Idea, which um, means like a a star, like not a star as a celebrity, but a, a star in the sky, you know. And uh, Wichapi Idea, I think, means um, fire star or something like that. So um, we were just funning around one time, and uh, it just it was something that we kept to ourselves. So only like three people. Uh, know that my three or four actually four now know that um, it's it's just the name uh, Idea. My real name is Nelson uh, Wilson, and that's straight up Navajo name. So that's <laughs> it's neat because uh, those names are more like uh, classic traditional names, like Nelson and Wilson. You know that kind of kind of stuff. It was my dad's name, or it is my dad's name, my my biological father's name, and um, his name was Nelson Joe Wilson Jr. or Sr. Uh, I say was because he passed away um, and they don't, um, I don't think uh, dead people really um, need their name anymore but I'm not sure you're not supposed to talk about them out here but um, how, how do I talk about my dad when um, if anybody ever asks me you know but anyways um we're at the SFPCA this is his second um, appointment um, I think it's gonna go well. Last time I, I had to um, buy some medication for him <laughs> for his flea treatment, which is like 20 bucks, and I, they they have the little drops, so I, I I just agreed to do it anyway, and so that was 20 dollars that um, we didn't really need to put towards his flea treatment because they they tried to give him a pill so he could eat it, and they tried to put it inside some food so he can ingest it well Yuma is naturally uh, suspicious a lot of times uh, I didn't realize that though the, the, it's just so shady right here and I could see myself I shouldn't see myself I should look at the camera anyways um I uh, the pill was um, $20 and I was supposed to um, give it to him and disguise it in his food well Yuma is naturally suspicious of um, stuff like that, you know? He's like, hey, why, what, what's going on? He's really smart, like that. So what, um, what happened was that I, um, I, I just gave up. <laughs> I gave up after like uh, several times because he knew exactly what I was doing. He was watching me the whole time. I tried to hide it, you know, and try to put it in there. I think I spent like 30 minutes just uh, really trying to get him to eat it. But by that time, our hands were, my hands were all like, like, wet from him slobbering and spitting out, slobbering and spitting out and and he knew exactly what, what was going on. So I just I just kinda left it there for a little while just like on top of my dresser and and I said I'll find a way to do it. I'll find a way to do it. And then after a while I was just like, you know what, um I'll just I'll just wash him and then put the drops of um uh, flea treatment on him instead of um uh trying to trick him into eating a um something that he doesn't want to eat. So, uh, I mean, Yuma is one of those dogs. He's just like, um, I say one of those dogs. I don't really know how many dogs there are. He's very, his personality is um, kind of stubborn a little bit. So if you try to, I think one memory that I have of it is like one time um, I was trying to feed him and we, I needed him to eat in a certain um, amount of time. But to dogs, they just, they don't see time. They don't, uh, they don't recognize time as, um, as anything. They don't have to uh, rush and hurry up and do things, right? But we do, as humans. And I know that that time, he wasn't gonna be able to eat for a long time afterwards, uh, after, um, after that. So what I needed him to do was to be able to eat so he can have it for, uh, so he wouldn't have to starve or be hungry for such a long time afterwards. But he didn't really understand that, and um, I kind of got a little bit angry, and I was like, hurry up and eat, and then that was it. 
That's the first the first thing. He, so if I get aggressive and say, hurry up, hurry up and eat or something, he gets really just like, he just shuts down completely. He says, nope, 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 I'm not going to eat. And then, and then I try to be nice and be like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, eat, please, could you eat, eat? And then he just, he really just shut down completely. He's just like, uh, no. But I will say that the trick is to um, try to get me to, I mean, I'm the one that has to change my, my, my uh, behavior and my, um, the way I approach him. So if I lose my cool and I'm just like, oh, do this and stuff, and then I have to immediately uh, say, oh, I'm sorry, Yuma, I'm sorry. I don't, I didn't mean to um, uh, burst out like that. And then just pet him, make him feel good, make him feel that I'm okay first. And then, um, and then when he sees that I'm okay, he um, he'll he'll just start being more curious again, and then he'll just he'll be fine again. So I mean, with that that kind of um, attitude, I've been trying to love him in a way of uh, not having to force him to do anything, but just love him by fixing myself first. Because if I'm if I'm if I'm okay, then Yuma is okay. Then if I'm in danger, then. Yuma's in danger, so I, I, I just kind of got to think of him as an extension of um, myself. So if I can take him to a hospital and to make sure that he's fine, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's for my well-being, it's for his well-being, and it works out that way. Um, thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for uh, uh, watching my video. This was just spur of the moment kind of thing, and I, I, I really like that about my videos. It's just that sometimes they just happen, you know? And um, today's uh, Yuma's um, dog appointment, and we're looking forward to it. I'm getting better at um, skateboarding. I'm riding a lot more, so uh, I'm able to, you know, do things. So I've been having it with me a lot lately. And uh, I think it's time, so I gotta go. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Thank you for checking out my channel. Uh, thanks for being my friend. I'll see you guys later. Bye.